Let's take a few minutes to go over your screen. This particular screen is your home screen, as indicated by the green light be behind your house in the top toolbar. First, we see stitches per inch. You can plus or minus those to your personal preference simply by touching the plus or minus button. Below that, we have speed, which is not active right now because we're in regulated mode. Beneath that, we have the timer, which tells you how many minutes you've been stitching. Next to that is how many stitches you have stitched. You can reset either of those at any time by simply pressing the reset button beneath the item and it will go back to zero. In the middle, we have stitch modes. Right now, we're in regulated mode. When you're in regulated mode, the machine will stitch as you move and give you stitch regulation. So when you speed up, the motor will speed up and when you slow down, the motor will slow down. Remember when we attached the encoders, we talked about how the encoders were what tells the needle to move up and down. So that's where those encoders rolling smoothly on the track is very important. Beneath regulated, we have idle. In idle mode, it is a regulated mode, so it will give you stitch regulation. But when you stop moving, the needle will continue to move up and down at whatever rate of speed you have selected in your speed column. The next mode we have is based. When we're in the based mode, you'll notice that we get three stitches per inch, and that's to baste your quilt across the top or down the sides. Our next mode is ruler mode. And in ruler mode, this allows you to use your rulers and the machine will not shut itself off of regulation as quickly as it does when you're in regulated mode so that you have time to move your ruler, reposition it, and start stitching again. Our last mode is manual mode. When you're in manual mode, there is no stitch regulation. So if you move the machine faster, you're gonna get smaller stitches. If you move the machine slower, you're gonna get longer stitches. You can adjust the speed that your needle moves. It's going to move at a steady rate of speed. So you can adjust that with your plus or minus buttons to a position that you're comfortable with. On the right side of the screen, we have our needle up and needle down positions as well as our handlebar controls. The handlebar control icons on the screen match the handlebar controls on your handles. However, they are also active on the screen. So when you touch one, it will do the function that it was programmed for, as will if you press it on the handlebar. So you can do either. Our next icon is our lights. This is where you'll go to turn your lights on or to turn them off. We also have a black light function. If you'd like to sew with glow-in-the-dark thread, we can activate the black light. Your dimmer to brighten or dim your lights, simply touch the plus or minus. Our next icon is the file menu. In here, you'll find a calculator, which operates just like your calculator at home, so you can do your math right on the screen. you'll find your save settings option. So if you have changed your stitches per inch, if you've changed your speed settings and you'd like to save those so that they come back on when you turn your machine back on, simply come into your file menu and select save settings. You'll find a couple options on your advanced menu. The first one is the timeout. What timeout is, is when you're in regulated mode, if you stop moving your machine, for if it's set at five, for five seconds, then your machine is gonna shut the regulation off. You can adjust that number to wherever you're happy. The default is five. We also have system information. This will tell you the version, software version of your machine. If we update the machine or the software, you would do it from this advanced menu. We would give you detailed directions at that time on how to do an update. System log is an information that you might need to use with a service technician. Maintenance, 
will tell you how long your machine has been in use and when you need to oil and clean it. It's just kind of a reminder. After you clean it, you'll want to reset it so that it goes back to zero. The last option you have on your file menu is Diagnostics. In Diagnostics, you will only use this with a service technician. It will help the technician diagnose any problems you might be having with your machine. Our next icon is Sewing Parameters. In your sewing parameters, you have the option of how you want your machine to stop when you press the stop button on the handle. We can set it to stop in a certain needle position, which was on your home screen. You could stop with the needle up or the needle down. We can choose for it to stop instantly when you touch the stop on your handle. So wherever the needle is in the cycle is where it will stop. Or we can choose for it to do a tie off stitch every time you touch the stop on the handlebars. If you're choosing tie off, you can also choose how many tie off stitches you would like it to do. The next icon we have is the ruler. This is so that you can actually measure a quilt block. So you would simply move your machine to where you want to start, press your set start, move the machine to where you want to measure the end of, and press stop. This last icon is if you have purchased the optional Husqvarna Viking Quilt So Clever automated quilting system, it will toggle you into that program. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope it helps you understand your machine better.